Polls across the state closed about 40 minutes ago. And we are tracking results in key races that will impact the future of safety and leadership in the Twin Cities. Voters turned out in large numbers to weigh in on whether the Minneapolis Police Department should be replaced with a public safety department. Right now, with 71% of the precincts reporting in, there are 42% of voters saying yes, 58% saying no. Voters will also decide if the mayors of Minneapolis and St. Paul deserve second terms. Uh, this is first choice only voting, but Jacob Fry has a substantial lead with 44% in his odd 19 and Knuth 18. That's 71% reporting as well. And in St. Paul, we don't have numbers yet. They're coming from a different source, but we'll make sure we get those updated as soon as possible. And we have a team of reporters covering all the angles tonight, and we will see you back here at CCO with an update in an hour. Well, we appreciate you staying with us for WCCL's live election coverage. We are uh, live on CBSN right now and appreciate you being here. And we're getting at results and numbers that we're going to keep updating throughout the course of the evening for you. And of course, we want to go ahead and begin with the uh, Minneapolis mayoral race. Yes, we are at those numbers. We have, of course, this is ranked choice voting with 71% of the precincts reporting in. It looks like Jacob Fry with 44% of the vote, Sheila Nazad with 19%, and Kate Knuth with 18%. And of course, you can pick uh, three people. You rank them first, second, and third. And we want to be really clear that these are first choice votes only. Yes, that is true. Uh, Caroline Cummings has been following this all day. And she joins us now, right now. How are you, Caroline? Evening, Amelia. So things have really started to get a lot more exciting around uh, Jacob Fry's watch party, Mayor Jacob Fry's watch party here in southeast Minneapolis. And like you said, that uh, right now it shows that the mayor has a sizable lead with 70% of the precincts reporting. But because ranked choice voting is different than a traditional sort of tabulation of voting for one person, we might not know who wins tonight if a person doesn't clear 50% of the vote. It's 50 plus one in order to declare victory. If that doesn't happen, everything will be tabled till tomorrow and they'll be tabulating uh, those second choice votes and it will go in sort of a, a rotation there. But all I know for now is that these campaigns have have fought to the end here. They they tell me uh, Sheila Najad, Jacob Fry, AJ Awed, and Kate Knuth, the top four contenders here, were really fighting to the end. They were uh, camp. They were canvassing neighborhoods, door knocking, um, doing phone banking up until the end to try to get people out to the polls up until they closed just about a half an hour ago. Now, what we will know by tonight is the fate of question one, which would decide what uh, kind of power structure looks like in City Hall right now. If question one passes, and at last check, uh, there was uh, stronger support for question one, one right now um, that they that the, the mayor would have more power than he or she in the office has now and it would diminish the power of the city council so that's something to watch because no matter who is elected mayor the the scope of their powers could change after tonight Frank and Amelia all right Caroline thank you yeah if you didn't see that graphic the question one stands right now at 54 percent in favor and 46 percent against